everybody. I am going to do a video of making some homemade homemade bread used with a stand-up mixer. It's made by Sunbeam. I'm going to go through some of the things that I'm going to use first. We are going to use some yeast. Um, we're going to use, this is the flour that I use. It is better for bread. Sugar, any old cheap sugar will work just fine. I'm going to use some salt, which I don't have out here yet, but I will grab that. But any salt will work, just regular salt. Warm water from your faucet is just fine. We're going to use some vinegar right here. We are going to use some olive oil. And I think that is it. We are going to get started. I'm just going to go grab that salt. We'll get started. Okay, we got the salt. Just cheap, regular salt. I'm going to put three cups of flour in here. Actually, I'm going to use this. So I need three cups of this. That's one. Two. Um, three. Three cups. And I just got these new measuring cups. These actually came from the Dollar Tree. They're very cheap. But what I like about them is some um, measuring cups that you can buy will have the names just printed on there. These have it engraved so that it doesn't wash off. So I need two teaspoons of these. So I'm gonna put two of these teaspoons in here. Okay. So I have a teaspoon right here, and I'm gonna do two of those. One. Two. So there we go. Two teaspoons are in there. Sugar. Need a third of a cup of sugar. Cup right here. There's a third of a cup of sugar. And it's one teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. So now I'm going to put my bread hooks in. So I'm just mixing the stuff up together. That's just all of the dry ingredients that are mixed together. Pretty easy to do. All mixed in. I'm gonna need two cups of warm water, so I'm gonna go over to the sink and warm it up and use this. Okay. I put this in the microwave for about two minutes so it's nice and warm. And so I'm gonna add this in and kind of turn this on as I what is in there? And the next thing I need is um, it's just extra virgin organic. All right, I got this open, and I need a third of a cup, so I'm going to measure that out right in here. Third of a cup. I'm going to add that into there. And I need two teaspoons of vinegar. And 
Okay, now I'm gonna mix this stuff together. It's nice and gooey and wet right now. I'm gonna need three more cups of flour to be added, but you're gonna add them just a little bit at a time. So we're gonna start with one. I'm gonna add that one and mix it in. We are now mixing it in, and this is kind of what it what should look like. I've added one of the three cups. So I'm going to get my second cup in here and just kind of plop it on top, turn my mixer back on and just stir it in. It's going to get a little bit tougher as you add more flour. Sometimes it will climb on the bread hooks, but you just mix it in there. And I have one more cup to add. All that dry stuff off the side, mix it in. Pretty much what it looks like in the bowl. I'm just gonna finish mixing it up just a little bit. All that dry stuff in there before we add a little bit more out. At this point, I'm going to take all this off. It's still pretty wet, so I might actually just add a little bit more flour. Just kind of, kind of feel it and play with it, and if it's a little too sticky, you can. Add just a little bit more flour until it's nice and hard. Much better. So you're gonna kind of just take it and punch it down and roll it in. So that's what I'm doing. I'm rolling it into a ball and your hands will get dirty. And you're going to take this and just coat it with this. Kind of drizzle it on top and rub it in so it's nice and wet. I'll spread it out a little bit while you do that, and then you can flip it over. And that's one. Put one more of those one there. Cut the oil now. And then what you're gonna do is cover it up with a napkin or a plate, or just whatever you have. Um, I have a nice little plate here that'll fit. And I'm just gonna let it sit there for 25 minutes. It has been 25 minutes. So, um, bread has actually rised quite a bit. Lots of bread. So, um, if you wear rings, you might wanna remove them off of at least one hand. And you're just going to punch them down with your fist. 
You're just gonna do like that and punch it down in a circle. As much as you can. And then put the plate right back there. And I will see you again in another 25 minutes. Alright, it's been 25 minutes and I'm just going to do what we did last time. And just punch it down real nicely. And... I have a friend over there on FaceTime who wants to be in my video, but um, yeah, so we're just gonna punch it down real nicely like that, and we're gonna wait 25 more minutes. Okay, it has been another 25 minutes, and I'm gonna punch down the bread again. I'm not really gonna show it to you because I kind of showed it to you the last couple of times. And then, and okay. <laughs> the next step here is to um, place your pans down. Um, I like to just use olive oil since that's already in my recipe. But you can use some butter or something if you prefer. But I just take a little napkin and just put it on here, put it in the bottom, and just kind of. You just spread it around on the sides and down the bottom just like you would if you were baking a cake or something. It's not rocket science or anything. So now I've punched this down. So I'm going to take it and you're going to split it into two since I'm making two loaves of bread. Just kind of split it. And I roll it up into a little ball and just put it right in the center there. And I do the same thing for this one. Just kind of roll it up into a little ball and put it in the center. And then you've got your bread loaves. So, um, side by side and you just want to cover them up because you don't want anything getting into it and this I'm going to let rise for just 20 more minutes and then it will go into the oven okay welcome back it's been a little bit more than 20 minutes I would say maybe about 25 minutes um because I didn't turn the oven on in time make sure you preheat your oven at 375 and this is going to go in for 23 minutes, and this is how they look before. Okay, so I'm going to go put these in the oven, and I will see y'all back here in about 23 minutes. Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm going to take the bread out of the oven now, and i um, show you what to do next. So that's what it looks like fresh out of the oven. So just trying to um, get the bread out. That is one of the loaves just upside down. So, um, take a stick of butter and just kind of open it up like this and just kind of rub it all over the bread while it's nice and hot. Kind of paint on it with the butter. Is hot 
yummy bread. It smells so good. I can't wait to have some. And it takes roughly about two, about maybe two, two and a half hours. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And share the video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.